So I'm getting ready to go out and pick up uh, this old Colt. Well, actually, it's a Philly. A Philly that's going to California for um, Jose. So I'm going to pick her up and get her ready. And the transport will be here in uh, just a little bit. So I'm going to do that right now. I've been caught twice. This is their second time. We weaned some calves, and this is my wandering bull. We're gonna take him. He's going to sail, and then there's a few steers in here. We hold. Did some hold some in last night. This is just the, the remainder of them. So we'll hold those in. These are some of the heifers over here. And there's some steers and bulls in there that we're going to keep. Hip, hip, hip. Hip. Oh. How are you guys? Good. Good. Ross and I were over here at uh, Beacon Light. We weed these cows. We're gonna push them around in the pens here. Take a look. Some calves in here. We're gonna just push them around a little to a different area. We have some wingling colts and fillies in here too. There's an older heifer in there. She got in the wrong, wrong pasture. We just put her in here. We haven't taken her back out. Shut that gate right there.
wean calves. Some bulls there, colts and fillies. Three quarter. Here at PMA, here's some of the mares, some of the foals that I kept. It's a salty filly, out of Lacey. There's Classy, her Korea Colt, my Night Owl. Lacey right there, voodoo. There's voodoo's Billy. She's by Salty. It's the Bay Roan. It's Jessie. Her Colt by True Blue. Coco. Lucky Baron, her filly, Bay filly, by Salty. Those are both by Salty right there. Filly by, by Salty out of Uju. Lucky Lady right there. Wyo Jets over there. Drew you Philly by True Blue Valentine. And this is a three year old mare by Lynx. Mm. Out of Kitty's Pick. I have three yearlings in here. I have this Sorrel uh, yearling colt. He is by Night Owl and out of Sweet. And he's available. And we also have, I have the Blue Roan over here. Now that's a Texas Blue Valentine uh, by Blue Frost Cash. He is sold. He's actually going um, head and east. He'll be going to Pennsylvania. And then the blue right here, the darker blue, that's a yearling that he's also by Texas Blue Valentine out of uh, Coco. And he is Blue Valentine, top and bottom. Blue Valentine is right on his papers on the top and the bottom. So very high percentage. And he is available also. In the Sorrow, or the Blue here, you can give me a call. I guess that's about it. Pretty gentle, they're all pretty gentle. Been handled, um, they'll trim, they load, they catch. They're just growing, wait until the day they can be saddled and started. It should be pretty easy to, to start. So this is Wrangler Rose here. Um, she'll be uh, bred for 2023 by a Texas Blue Valentine. She has been sold, and so she'll stay here until she foals. And then on the other side of the pen here, we have another horse. This is Sunny. She's a yearling. By Zar. Out of a mare by the name of Hot Rocks. And so, same thing, the same owner. She'll stay here. Uh, she's scheduled to get her start as soon as she turns old enough. And so.
So Sunny will stay here until she gets her start also. She's just a yearling now. This is a nice filly. And then the same owner has Blondie over here. It's out of um, one of our studs that we lost a few years ago, a couple of years ago, uh, JT Blanco Jack. And her mother is Shining Red Sunrise, who is an Oki Leo mare. Now she was raised here and then sold. And she came back for her 90 day ride, but she actually stayed here about six months. We rode her for six months and, and um, that owner um, unfortunately went back to her maker. And so we are, we were fortunate enough to get her back and we did resell her to the same person who has, uh, who owns Sunny and Wrangler Rose over there. And so we're keeping her, uh, we're riding her and we'll also breed her this breeding season for a 2024 full.